Hey, welcome to a review of the top buzzwords from 2021 and going into 2022. English is an interesting language because every year, certain words kind of come to the forefront, some words get invented, and then all of a sudden, everyone's talking about them. We call those words buzzwords because there's a buzz about them throughout the culture. Now, there are buzzwords in all kinds of areas. There's going to be tech buzzwords. There's going to be pop culture buzzwords. There's going to be business buzzwords. And you could spend all day looking around trying to figure them out. But hey, I've done the work for you. I've gone around the internet and I've pulled some of the top buzzwords from all different areas. And in this video, we're going to review 10 of 30 buzzwords that are out and about right now. All right, so the first one we're gonna talk about is from the business world, which is altcoin. Everybody knows Bitcoin because of its success. All of a sudden it spawned all kinds of different coins and you can collectively call these cryptocurrencies altcoins, as in alternative coins. So it could be Dogecoin, it could be Solana or Cardano or blip, 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 however many are coming out all the time. You know what I mean? But those are all altcoins. Now the next one we're talking about is the word bandwidth. Now obviously that's a tech term uh, because you need a certain amount of bandwidth to download stuff, but that's not what we're talking about here. This actually uh, got annoying in the business world because people would be like, I just don't have the bandwidth to take on that project. It's kind of a euphemism, a nice way of saying, I ain't got no time for you, right? Because you're just kind of deflecting a little bit by saying, oh, I just don't have the bandwidth to take on this project right now. And it's a, just a nice way of saying that I'm not gonna do that because I can't handle any more work. Now, I love this next word because I watch British TV a lot and I've heard this word for years, but it's got some traction over here in the United States and that word is bespoke. I know it sounds like a bicycle, something like uh, to do with your, your wheels on a, on a bike. But no, bespoke means it was made custom for you. And we can understand why that's catching on so much, right? With, with that websites like Etsy, where you can get things monogrammed and made just for you custom, that's becoming more and more a thing in the culture because you want something bespoke because it's just for you. Isn't that sweet? All right, this next buzzword comes from TikTok, not a sponsor. And it was coined by at John Grands about his pug noodle. And the buzzword is a no bones day or a bones day because this guy apparently sets up his dog in the morning and if the dog flops over, it's got no energy to face the day and that's a no bones day. Or if he sets it up and it goes, you know, goes all puggy on him, uh, full of energy, then that's a bones day. So if you get up in the morning and you got nothing in you to go, that's a no bones day. All right, I hope I'm saying this one right, but the next buzzword, number five, is chuggy. Chuggy. This was coined by Gen Z or Gabby Rasson. And I might be saying that wrong too, but I guess that would make me chuggy. Okay, so chuggy, I should really be more serious. Treat this very seriously. Chuggy. Chuggy. Chuggy can be two things. One would be something that was once on trend and in style, but has since gone out of style. Pretty much anything you uh, were wearing this day and age a week ago, okay, maybe a year ago. Or it can mean someone that's just trying too hard. Like pretty much everybody on any reality TV show ever. They're just being chuggy. All right, our next trending buzzword has been made popular in the business and political world, and that word is circle back. Let's circle back. And circle back is a promise that you're gonna go back at a later date or time and discuss something you just don't wanna talk about right now. Pretty much it's the introduction to the graveyard of ideas that you wanna kill, but you don't wanna say, no thanks, not gonna go there. We're gonna circle back to that never. Number seven on this list of 10 top buzzwords is going on a deep dive. 
deep dive is basically sounding on the surface like a good thing where you're gonna go explore the details and the nuances and all the stuff involved in a particular issue or situation at a deeper level. But it's also a way to kind of ah, subtly insult somebody because what you're doing is you're saying, hey, you should do a deep dive on that because you don't quite know your stuff. So if someone suggests that you should do a deep dive, they might be just hinting that your knowledge is not what it should be. All right, now, the next buzzword is something to describe a lot of people that have been born in the last 10, 20 years, and that would be digital native. A digital native is someone who's very familiar with computers and internet from an early age. So you probably know someone that's older than you and uh, less familiar with uh, how a computer works or how a smartphone works and some of the, the quick things that you can do on those devices and that's because they're not digital natives. Kids these days are just brought up with computers and devices and they're pretty much born into being a digital native. Alright, this next buzzword is a business term and it has to do with kind of refreshing or improving your business first with digital means and that word is digital transformation. Now the one little thing about digital transformation, right, because if you are starting a business or you want to give your business a new look, you can do that really easily digitally first, which would be your digital transformation and then the brick and mortar or the, the other things could keep up at a little bit slower pace, but it also could just be kind of code for having to buy a new tech or new tech product or app to kind of make something that was once manual into a digital process. So you gotta be careful with that term because it could mean you're just gonna be spending more money uh, into your business. And number 10 for this video is extended reality. Now you might be thinking that that sounds a lot like VR or augmented reality or one of the hundred things in between those two things and you might even think it means like meta. And the answer is yes, it's all of those things. Extended reality is an umbrella term that all of those things, whether it's virtual reality or augmented reality or being in the metaverse, all fit under that one umbrella term, extended reality. And that is the first 10 of 30 buzzwords that are popular right now, 21, 22. And we have two more videos to go for the 30 that I'm gonna be covering to kind of, boom, expand your knowledge of what's out and about there in the world as current buzzwords. Thanks for watching this video. It would be so amazing if you would subscribe to the channel. And I've also put up a couple other playlists that would be a, a pretty awesome for you to take a look at. So until next time, thanks for watching.